Living Classrooms is a nonprofit organization celebrating 25 years in Baltimore, 10 years in Washington, D.C., and we are focused on educating particularly at-risk populations through workforce development, actual education in the classroom, and using natural environments such as our wetland space here to educate students about the environment. What we're doing today is on a basic level kind of weeding, but on a meta level is very important for the environment. They literally wrap themselves around host plants and it's basically a struggle for sunlight. One of the unique responsibilities that we have on our East Harbor campus is the last remaining wetlands on the Inner Harbor. It's really a piece of history. You can see what the bay has traditionally looked like on the waterfront before the city was here. So we have a responsibility to maintain that. If we did not have the volunteers that we engage on a monthly basis, we not only would have to hire more people, we would actually have to appeal to the city to have city workers help us as well. So we're saving taxpayer dollars by involving volunteers as well as helping our bottom line and we're doing an incredible job as stewards of the environment to maintain that space. My whole life I've been living near the water, on the water, and for me personally, I think anything that has to do with uh, keeping the waters clean, enhancing the water quality, the wildlife, whether it's fish or on the land, is important. I hate to see trash and litter and things in the, in the water just polluting our waterways and, and then also making our city look dirty. Being a neighbor of this area and wanting to help preserve it and keep it clean is just important to us as a company and important to the individuals in our company. Every volunteer opportunity they give us is very meaningful. We really feel like we're making a difference and that when we leave, we've made an impact that's positive. We focus on involving volunteers of all ages. So we're very family friendly. A lot of our volunteers get connected through corporate donors, through partnerships, and they want to come out on a Saturday and they say, well, can I bring my child? And the answer is absolutely yes. The younger the volunteer is, the more awareness we can give them, the better stewards they can be to the environment, going home, going to school, talking to their peers. Every student group that we have, we focus on not just what we're doing today in a big effort where we get to clean up a lot of things. We talk to them about being stewards when they go home, being stewards for the environment. A lot of times these young students will go home and be able to teach their parents something about what happens when we dispose of our trash the wrong way, what happens to the Chesapeake Bay when I, I throw my wrapper on the ground. And these are students that by and large are living half a mile, maybe two miles away from the bay and have not considered it a resource until we make that connection and help them make that connection. One of the best things about the work that we do in working with Living Classrooms, we get a chance to see a generation of volunteers come through. We have young students that we've worked with as fourth graders that we've gotten a chance to get out on the Chesapeake Bay using one of our vessels, the Lady Maryland or Sigsby or Mildred Bell, and they actually come as college students and they give their time, they volunteer, they intern. We really are defining generations of people who have a new environmental awareness and could come back and be a part of our programs in the future.